This is the pistol that knows how to say I love you in the sexiest way possible. A work of pure temptation. A masterpiece of desire. Ladies and gentlemen, enter a world where danger meets desire and precision becomes passion. It's a dance of power and grace. A symphony of lust and accuracy. From the heart of the enchanting lands of Switzerland, I present you the PHX Redback or Phoenix Phoenix, Phoenix Redback? Ah, what a nightmare. Is it PHX, Phoenix or both? The riddle deepens and even the sellers are unsure. But don't worry, despite the confusing name, let's continue and hope we will find what we all seek. The essence of pure lust. Imagine holding a pistol that feels like it was expertly carved from a single rock. It's so well made, it's like it came from the hands of real man tell himself. When you gently move the slide smoothly, like a sleek and graceful performer, without a hint of wobble. And when you handle the controls, they respond effortlessly, as if they are dancing to your every command. The precision and craftsmanship are undoubtedly linked to a premium price point. But before we dive into affordability and value, let's save those details for my final thought. Let me present you my favorite feature, a little surprise. With the second generation, you can mount a red dot sight. And here's the kicker, swapping it out takes less than 15 seconds and the zero remains locked, no matter what. Let's put into a test. To dismount the red dot, all it takes is a single screw and a gentle hinge action at the rear. Now, the first time you attempt this, it might feel a bit snug, but once you familiarize yourself with the process, it's as effortless as pie. Additionally, Phoenix provides mounting plates for at least three different footprints. Alright, now that we have seen how the red bag handles red dots, let's continue. Guess what? In 2019, it rose like a phoenix from the ashes under the banner of Sphinx. Oh, or was it Chris Sphinx? The naming roller coaster continues, but rest assured, nobody got the time or the zen like patience for those name riddles. Yes, it's based on the ZZ75, much like the majority of pistols on the market today. They almost all draw from existing platforms. Sometimes I find myself lying in bed, gazing at the stars and wishing for more innovation in the industry. Now, let's break down the construction. It's built in three main parts. The slide, along with all its components, will always be made out of steel. Next, you have the upper and lower section of the grip. Straight out the box, Phoenix offers three configurations. Red back for an all steel construction, red bear light where the lower grip is made of aluminium and red back ultra light where the entire grip is crafted from aluminium. Also, they offer it in all black, all stainless steel or, as in my case, duotone. In addition to that, there are various options available, including different grip panels, safety levels, a straight trigger and the choice between single action and double action for your first shot, making it perfect fit for a wide range of preferences and shooting styles. This assembly is straightforward, following the familiar CZ75 procedure. You slide the slide rearward a few millimeters, align the dots, release the slide lever, pull it out, press the trigger and then remove the slide. Notably, the recoil spring and the rod are separate pieces. The internals are meticulously crafted with excellence, leaving no room for compromise. Each component is a testament to the art of engineering, ensuring precision and reliability. 
it's the kind of craftsmanship that truly sets the Phoenix Red back apart in the world of firearms. Now this one's a bit of a head scratcher. The configuration of the recoil spring and rod as two separate pieces present a challenge during reassembly. Perhaps it's just me, but honestly it baffles me why they have chosen this design when there are more affordable models like the Fusion feature captive strings that simplify the process. It leaves me wondering why the same convenience wasn't extended to the red bag. The pistol includes a recoil buffer. It's made of polymer and should be replaced after 10,000 rounds. <laughs> Who actually replaces it after just 10,000 rounds? <clears throat> This pistol is a noble red bag or heavy configuration and it has some weight to it. By some I mean it's substantial, coming in around 1.28 kilograms heavy. But as Uncle Ben would say, with great weight comes great stability and control. And that's precisely what the red bag offers in return for its heft. <laughs> Let's look at my favorite aspect, the trigger. Mine is equipped with the double action, single action trigger. It's absolutely excellent. With just the right amount of pre-travel. The brake is crisp and clean. With a delightful 1.5 kilogram pull weight. And let's not forget about the reset. Absolutely flawless. Here I am, creating one of my most costly pistols. It's a mix of pride and embarrassment. A sensation that's somewhat challenging to put into words. There is an undeniable pleasure in the way it rests in my hands. But yet, I can't help but recall that my 50 years old P210 performs as flawlessly as the red bag. When talking about target shooting, it raises a fundamental question. Does this significant investment translate into making me a better shooter? Is the allure of the red bags justified by its price tag? Or am I merely seduced by its captivating charm? As I ponder these questions, one thing is undeniable. The Phoenix red bag is a work of art and engineering, a firearm that bridges the realm of desire and functionality. Regardless of your sexual orientation, the red bag appeal is universally undeniable. Its precision, customization options and seamless red dot mounting make it a force to be reckoned with. And who can resist the touch of Swiss craftsmanship? So here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a firearm that knows how to whisper I love you in the most seductive way possible, while also demanding you to prove your worth. I leave it in your capable hands to decide if the Phoenix Red Bag is the ultimate pistol for your desires. After all, we all have different tastes, preferences and visions of what makes the perfect pistol. So explore, experiment and discover the one that truly resonates with your heart and shooting styles. For me, the significance lies in the fact that I invested my hard-earned money and dedicated countless hours to creating this video. All while knowing that I won't be able to monetize my firearm content or receive financial support from Phoenix. That itself should be a testament to my deep love and unwavering passion for Phoenix pistols and the art of firearms. So thank you for joining me. Until next time, stay safe. Stay passionate. Guachos.